Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to go over a few things that I like and dislike. First we can start with the dislikes and then we'll save the best for last. I will say um, one of the things that I don't like are the exercise cards that you have to get. So what I mean by that is um, I'm pretty sure all studios are doing them now. They are little cards that are labeled 1 through 12 and treadmills are orange and rowers are gray. That sometimes I'll get there like 10 minutes before class starts and all of the treadmill cards are gone. Um, yeah, I just don't like that because I feel like I get there like early enough and before it was basically one of those first come first serve. So even if I got there like two minutes before class started, if I just kind of stood by the door, then I could just kind of get in and get into whatever treadmill that I wanted. Or I could, you know, get on any machine. So if I wanted to start off on the treadmill, I could just, you know, go to the front of the class and just walk in and get on a treadmill. Or if I wanted to start on the rower, I could just walk in and get on any rower. So I just think like that's just one of my biggest pet peeves and probably like my number one complaint are those cards. It is what it is. Secondly, what I don't like is I don't like the fact that you have to purchase your own heart rate monitor. I feel like these should be given to you when you first sign up, but I just feel like if you're doing the unlimited and you're paying a little bit more to go unlimited that I feel like the heart rate monitor should be given to you. Um, I believe... This one is $100. I don't remember the price, but I just feel like this should have been like a gift. Everyone who I talk to like kind of feels the same about that. So yeah, or at least make them cheaper. Like this is $100. <laughs> that is crazy. And then the third thing that I don't like is the fact that if you forget your monitor, you have to pay to rent one. I believe the cost of renting this one is $10. I have forgotten my monitor just twice and of course you could work out without it but I kind of like to see my stats. I don't know, just class just wouldn't be the same to me without my heart rate monitor so I do pay the $10 and I think that is pretty crappy. Um, I definitely feel like it should be free. Like if you're a person who owns a heart rate monitor and you just legit forgot it, I feel like you shouldn't have to pay money to rent one. Like that is crazy to me. Like you know I have one. I'm not abusing it. I'm not trying to like cheat my way out of not purchasing one. I'm not asking to borrow one every single class. It's just a one-time thing. So this is $10, the chest strap is $5, and the OTB is $15. No. So I be so I make sure to leave this in the car. So as soon as I'm done working out, I turn it off and I leave it in my car. And every Saturday I bring it into the house and I charge it and I take it out and Monday, I'm good to go. Now let's jump into the positive thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this a positive or is this a negative? Let's talk about my limbo feelings, okay? Um, one thing that I'm in limbo about is if you sign up for a class and if you don't can cancel within eight hours, so basically, um, let's just say I signed up for a 5 a.m. class and my alarm's going off at 4.30 and I'm just like, oh, to hell with this, I'm so sleepy, I don't wanna get up and go to the gym. And if I were to call my gym and be like, hey, I can't make it, get me out of the class, you get charged $12. I have a love-hate relationship with that. In a certain way, I love it because it's just like, okay, I'm not trying to pay y'all $12 every time I don't wanna get up to go to the gym. But at the same time, it's like, if it's because of an emergency or something came up or whatever, I don't know, see that's such a thing where I'm just like, I don't think that I should be penalized. But if I'm just being lazy, then that's on me. So that's why I say it's a love-hate relationship because it does keep you accountable at the end of the day. So if you signed up for a class, you're just kind of like, oh, I don't really wanna pay those $12. And I will tell you like, I signed up for my classes like a month in advance because I know me and there are times where I wake up and I'm just like, I really just don't wanna go today. And then I'm like, I don't wanna pay those $12 and I already signed up and it's like an hour before class starts so I don't have that eight hour window to cancel. So it just makes me get up and go. So I have my love-hate relationship with that. Okay, now let's talk on 
about the things that I love. I will say I love all of my coaches there. Um, they're all super inspiring. They all say their own little motivational things and I love that. I love the fact that they take the time to know your name and little things like I, I love that you know um you know when they call you out in class I'm like hey you're doing great Jennifer and I'm like thank you thank you uh, I just like it it's just more personal and I feel like you pay a lot of money to go there so you know that's that's nice that they take the time to to know your name um but we do have coaches there who are like hey what, what kind of music are you in the mood to listen to and they play whatever you want i appreciate that too because music plays a big role in your workout you know if you don't really like your music i need something to distract myself when i'm on the treadmill dying okay so i like good music and uh, i don't have any complaints there all my coaches play really good music and i appreciate that so thank you guys um, another thing that I really really love is I love that every single workout is different. I will say too, um, this is just going to go hand in hand with what I'm saying. Um, I love the people there. Um, I will say that today's workout was so freaking hard and there were so many times where I was on the treadmill and I was like, oh my god. <sighs> um, and the people next to me we were all like literally like cheering each other on we were like it's okay we got 45 more seconds until we can walk <laughs> and um i appreciate that um the motivation that they give is pretty awesome and they really legit do help you it was good we all got through it as a team uh, it was actually one of our coaches was working out next to us and she was you know she was like okay guys we got this we're gonna do this you know uh, we're gonna keep going and you know we only have like 60 seconds to do this and then we can walk so i i appreciate that i like that i actually think that that is it you guys that is all of my likes and dislikes for orange theory but the good outweigh the bad and if you have an orange theory near you i highly recommend that you go check it out i believe you get two free workouts it is so fun but I gotta warn you, it's addicting. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.